that's interesting. Our local dealer has been sponsoring the school that my son's going to next year in something called the Rover Group Challenge. Apparently, it's a partnership between the school and the dealer which encourages students in their education, work experience, career choices, sensible driving practices when they start learning. <laughs> it's quite a list. A lot of the psychology of car buying is down to familiarity. My first car was the same make as the one my dad drove. When I talk with colleagues at work, a particular model might receive high praise, or when I turn on the local radio, or open my local newspaper, one dealer always seems to be featured. Like this one, for instance. Hello, sir. How can we help you? Ah, well, uh, you can answer a question for me, actually. I've just been reading in my local paper uh, something about the Rover Group Dealer Career Challenge, which apparently you're involved in, and you're also involved in um, the school that my son is going to be going to next year. I wondered if you could explain to me something about it. Yeah, it's very straightforward, really. We, um, we provide the school with a, a go-kart in kit form. Uh, the students at the school are then responsible for assembling the car and subsequently modifying it and customising it to suit themselves. Uh, the car is then entered in a regional final with other uh, local schools and uh, a, a winner emerges. That goes through to a, a national final which is held during an activity day with all sorts of other driving and sporting activities going on. And a, and a winner emerges and the, uh, the winning school wins a small cash prize. And there are also other prizes for, uh, for, the, for the kids who've come up with good ideas, creative ideas and so forth. Right, so you're effectively then sponsoring the school by providing them with the go-karting kit form. Yeah. Do you give them support all the way through to the final, if they should get that far? Absolutely. OK, right, question. You're obviously here to sell motor cars. Why are you becoming involved in something like this? Well, let me throw that back at you. What's brought you into our showroom this afternoon? Well, I, I was reading an article in the local paper about the... Ro oh, <laughs> very good, right. Thank you very much. So, by becoming involved in the Rover Challenge, a dealership can expect to attract some attention and, consequently, some publicity. High profile press, radio and television reports are a major benefit of the challenge and editorial content compared with advertising has a far higher impact. This two minute item was seen by peak time audiences in the northeast. It had all the trappings of a Grand Prix circuit, even a grandstand full of motor racing fans. But Beamish Hall in County Durham is a much more beautiful setting than Brands Hatch. And even though the crowds were on the thin side, there was plenty of atmosphere for the main events. The teenagers from Sunderland, Wallsend and Gosforth were sliding around the greasy grass circuit courtesy of Rover. Not for fun, but to help preserve the motor industry, currently suffering from a shortage of skilled technicians. Rover is spending £1 million on these training projects to attract young people into the idea of motor engineering as a career. Teachers from three schools were there to supervise, but you couldn't keep them off the circuit. Although most of their lap timings were pathetic compared to the youngsters, they still reckon this project is invaluable as an educational aid. Well, as a teacher, it means we're going to have to change the way we teach our course, but I think it's for the better because uh, it gives us a real example of live technology in action. And for Rover, the circuit training is the ideal way of getting the message across that mechanics are out, technicians are in. The image of a man with an oily rag is a bit out of date, according to the company. Today's technician needs to be just as efficient at a computer terminal as an engine. And young women are being encouraged to gear up into the notion of becoming a motor technician. Only the odd chauvinist was surprised that Lisa Todd flew round faster than most of the boys. It'll help us better in my GCSE technology project because it's a bit of experience which I've never had before. Local Rover dealers are sponsoring each of the three schools involved today to the tune of £1,500. In return, they hope that some of the youngsters will turn out to be the specialist technicians of the future. At the end of today, each school involved in the project will receive a go-kart, but it will be in kit form. The challenge for the youngsters is to assemble it and modify it to precise specifications. The project will form part of GCSE examinations next year, so today's high flyers in the Mini Le Mans at Beamish could be tomorrow's champions of the high-tech motor industry. 
Local radio likes challenge stories too. Good morning. Good morning, Andy. Why did you decide to take part in this event? We were invited to take part by the local Rover dealer. Uh -huh. They put our name forward as a suitable school to Rover and Rover got, got in touch with us and gave us the opportunity. So tell us what you've had to do to actually get to the stage of competing later today. Well, about a year ago, we went down to Ellesmere Port and had a challenge day and saw the carts which were, uh, the students were driving. We then received our cart about a year ago and it was in kit form. We had to build the cart, get it running. The lads had enjoyment actually driving it and then we had to do modifications to the cart. I'm very impressed with this. Do you think this is a good idea? It sounds to me like a marvellous idea for adding to the knowledge of youngsters. It's an excellent idea, yes. For every branch of the media, it's the same story. The challenge really does capture the imagination of newspapers. Each year, challenge days generate more and more news coverage for the schools and supporting dealers than ever before. Coverage such as this was countrywide including Scotland and Northern Ireland. For the dealer, the cost of space for just one of the picture stories published would nearly cover the complete challenge sponsorship outlay for one year. Free editorial for these stories has so much credibility, particularly when it portrays a local business showing a genuine interest in the future of young people. and particularly parents, are exposed to Rover Group branding throughout the competition. Not forgetting the students themselves, who are the drivers of tomorrow. A go-kart today, Rover 100 in a few years, Rover 600 or Discovery in a few more. But what are the other benefits of the Rover Group challenge? Surely it's not just a publicity stunt. I went along to a Rover dealership to find out more. As the motor industry develops, engineering is becoming more technology-based. In order to keep ahead of other manufacturers, rover technicians of the future need to be literate, numerate and qualified. School children of today are your technicians of tomorrow, but are you going to attract them? The man that can answer that is Tom Powell. Tom, can you explain to me how the challenge will help with your future need for quality trainee technicians? Well, first of all, it provides an excellent community link between school and dealership. And then it gives the school students every opportunity to come down here and see how we really work. First of all, in a service department like this, they'll notice it's a very clean area. And they will see the tools and the computer equipment, all of which takes a great deal of training for. And whilst they're down here, we can show them the rest of the dealership and the opportunities for careers that lie there. But we've been particularly pleased here to be associated with the challenge over the last few years because last year we, our school team actually won the regional final and they went on to uh, do very well in the national final as well. But the big surprise was that in fact it was an all-girls team. An all-girls team? All-girls team and that really gave the boys a face. Oh, I was going to say that must have shaken they a They were people. very, very pleased and uh, so were we. By involving students firstly in the challenge and then in the apprentice programme, you will ensure that they're fully trained in the use of the latest equipment and vehicles. The programme trains them to NVQ Level 3. What better way to guarantee that high quality technicians are available for your business in the future? You will have the best technicians in town, so you can be the best dealer in town. The Rover Dealer Career Challenge has been in operation since 1989. The benefits to dealers have been obvious, and ex-students are now working for the company. Ruth Jordan is a successful Career Challenge participant who has made the most of the career connection. Due to my involvement with the Career Challenge, there is a natural link between Ratton School and Caffins, which meant I was able to do work experience with Caffins, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and was very pleased when they offered me an apprenticeship. Through the apprenticeship I was able to do day release, which um, I was able to do my BTEC certificate and my National Craft certificate, which allowed me to become a fully qualified technician. This led on to Rover courses at Cowley to do with fuel injection and their new products. 
and also now I'm doing my HNC, Motor Vehicle Management, uh, which will allow me to progress even further in the future. Ruth came into the company via the old style scheme, but now Rover are launching their modern apprenticeship scheme, the Rover Apprentice Technician Programme. Students involved in the challenge who reach the regional finals and are likely to achieve three Grade C GCSEs can apply to enter the program. The scheme runs over three years and includes residential training and site visits. The great thing for dealers is that the direct cost is minimised. Funding comes partly from Tex and partly from Rover Group. may already be sponsoring a school, in which case remember that your enthusiasm and commitment will help your chosen school towards success. And if it's your first time as a sponsor, it's in your interest to get involved. A go-kart may seem a small thing, but you'll really be supporting the student's future and your own. Use the Dealer Career Challenge to be the best dealer in town. Put in some effort and you'll see the results. Now, I really ought to be getting back to the office, just as well I brought the car along. Well, the publicity from the Rover Group Dealer Challenge worked for me, and I'll be interested to hear what my son makes of it all when he's old enough. I wanted to be a train driver. Perhaps his ambition will be to become a Rover technician. We'll have to wait and see.